All right, we are going to take a second here and talk about what I think is actually the best watch that you can buy for somebody who's outdoorsy, hard use, that kind of thing. These two here are what I'm talking about. They are the same. This is a Citizen's Field watch. Uh, and we are comparing it to also, just as an example, I have the Pro Master Tough one here, um, which they don't even make this one with this kind of a band anymore. Now it only comes with a stainless steel bracelet on it. And uh, what's nice about the Pro Master Tough model is that it is a um, it is sapphire crystal, so this is pretty much scratch proof. However, uh, sapphire does shatter. Okay, so if you drop this, you can actually break this in here. So it's more scratch resistant, but because it is so hard, it can shatter, can break. So you smash this into a brick corner, and you can actually smash and break it right out. Um, whereas these ones are that uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, I can't think of the name. It's slip it mineral crystal. Um, on these, they uh, it's almost impossible to actually break it or damage it, but you can scratch it easier. You can buff the scratches out, which I've done on this one already once. Um, there's you can get uh, low micron um, buffer or uh, polishing rouge and use that and just uh, buff this out of there pretty good and you know fix any little scratches you do get. But look at the size difference between these two watches. Okay, we got a 37 millimeter benzyl all the way around a diameter of that benzyl is 37 millimeters here. Here it is 42. Here we have a 18 millimeter band. Here we have a 22 millimeter band. So you can see the size difference is huge. The weight is absolutely huge. The thickness of the case is also huge. If you look at the differences there, I don't remember what they are. Um, I think this is 11 mil thick, and I don't remember how thick this one is. But um, overall, like I said, they're two very similar watches. But the weight, size, and bulk is tremendous. And they are both basically the same thing. They are echo drive movements inside of there which is incredible. Okay, so now let's talk about why I think it's one of the best watches, these two here. Again, this one's not bad. I wear this out on special occasions when I want to dress up, but you can see the size difference of this on my wrist. It's pretty big, okay, and it's pretty bulky, and when you put it on, it's, uh, you know, I, I change this band out on all mine. These are Zulu bands. Uh, I get the bands from countycom.com. That I'll put a link to it for you, but countycom.com. These are Zulu bands. I love them. And you can see this one. You see it on there, Zulu, right there by Meritac. Um, but I love these because they're waterproof. They're pretty indestructible. You can see it's a little beat up, but not bad on there. But, uh, but this watch is not bad, but it's kind of bulky on my wrist. Bothers me a little bit in the size, but like I said, it does look nice. So when I uh, do dress out on like special occasions and take my wife out, I will definitely wear this one. And it's, you know, but I bought it because of the toughness and durability. I just don't like wearing it as much. So we're going to take that one out of the equation and set it there. Now these are your field watches. These are two identical. These are both 100% the same watches. Um, you can see this one over here has been beat up a lot. I will explain that to you because it shows the durability factor of these. But these are two very identical, exactly the same watches. And believe it or not, they're the exact same color bands. And that'll come in there into play in a minute too. These are again, both Zulu bands by Meritac, got through countycom.com. Now the reason I like these bands is because if I were to pop a pin, like on here, you can see it, see these pins? That are on here. If one of these were to break on a normal watch, it has a band that connects here and a band that connects here. If that one pin breaks, the watch then pops off and it falls off your wrist and you lose it forever. Water skiing, tubing, swimming, kayaking, anything like that, you know, you can lose it. Well, with mine, if one of these bands pop or pins breaks, the watch is still connected to this one it may flop around on there but i'm not losing it because this pin will hold it if this pin breaks that's the reason i use these um and i like the way it feels on my hand uh, or on my wrist it kind of helps keep it in place there so all of mine use that type of a Zulu one piece band that feeds through. Um, I've been using it for a lot of years. I'm very happy with it. So we're look, when we talk about these, this one here, like I said, is barely used. Uh, there's, I can't really comment on the strength and durability yet. It's supposed to be, it's called a Pro Master Tough. They don't even make it this way. They only make it in a stainless steel band now. And it's about a $400 watch. These, however, are like 100 to $130, depending on where you buy them type deals for these watches. This particular one right here is 13 years old. 
Okay, and Warren Daly, 13 years old. Now, if you follow my other channel, my traditional bow hunting and wilderness podcast channel, um, I've reviewed both these watches on there years ago. And I talked about the fact that I also own Tag Heuer watches. I also own Hamilton watches. I own a ton of watches. And yet, these right here are my go-to watches. These are the ones I wear all the time. Thousand dollar watches sitting there and I don't ever wear them. They, they fail. Their batteries die. The Hamilton died on me exactly 13 months into owning it. Completely died. It was a field watch like this. Um, and I paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for that. Um, like I said, these never fail. Now they say you get expect about 10 to 15 years out of the life of an Echo Drive. And uh, like I said, this one is going on 13 years old. You can see if you look close, I'm going to bring you in here and you can see it does have a couple of scratches on the face. Sorry about that, my battery just died. Um, but like I said, you can see that there are some scratches on that a little bit, on that face of that one. It could be cleaned out of there. But um, technically speaking, like I said, 13 to or 10 to 15 years, they say on these, this one is 13 years old, worn daily, and uh, it gets the crap beat out of it. Now, the reason that this band is this color, and it was this, is remember, I'm actually a pressure washer. So this thing is on my wrist, and I am dealing with some of the most abrasive, hardish chem or harshest chemicals you could ever imagine. This thing is covered in sodium hypochlorite. This is covered in axilic acid, covered in muriatic acid, uh, covered in all kinds of, um, you know, degreasers and things like that constantly. And actually, it's stained or bleached out the color of that band uh this thing every i, I even wear it in the shower when i get home at night because it's so covered with a white haze and crust of chemicals that i can't even read it and so i jump in the shower and it cleans it off but this watch has been through everything still 100 percent waterproof keeps perfect time runs like a top it is flawless in 139 dollars and so here now this one is about seven years old same exact kind of thing I bought. I bought it because I actually gave this one to my son for a little while. He didn't like it, and I, so I bought this one, and then I, I took it back when he didn't like it. Um, so these are, you know, incredible watches for the money. Uh, super durable, like I said, and they fit your hand nice and small in size. So when I put this on, and uh, let me set it here, but again, I love these Zulu bands. Okay, these are 18 mil bands that are on here. I think I might even have, I think these are 20s that I put in here. I think it calls for an 18 millimeter band, but see how that's kind of curled over? I believe these are 20 millimeter bands because they don't make it in an 18. So I think I'm actually running 20 millimeter bands and this is a 22 millimeter band on here. I'm pretty sure. And I think I just stuff fit a 20 in here and I like the way it fits, so I left it that way. So I'm running a 20 millimeter Zulu band from countycom.com on both of these watches here and I'm very happy with the results of that but you can see how nice and small and compact and how shallow that sits and it is out of the way it's very very light and indestructible and you know it's always there it always works the tritridium works fantastic in the dark uh so you can see or the the glow in the dark dial but even you know i can wake up at four o'clock in the morning and not and just look at my watch in my dark bedroom and i can still see it good enough to see what time it is so works incredible i love the band setup it just it's fan it's a fantastic system but compare that in size to this and you can see that there is a tremendous difference you know, when these are on there next to each other in the size, the weight, the bulk to the point, like I said, where I, I don't even care about this watch. I wear it uh, just because I own it on occasion sometimes. I thought it was going to be the best watch ever, but the weight, the size, the bulk. I do love the Sapphire Crystal, but I'm not really sold on this completely dolled out uh, titanium. This finish that's on here because of the fact that, it, you know, it's very easy to scratch this and beat this up. Um, where this one, like I said, just uh, takes a ticking and keeps on licking <laughs> or whatever the timex thing was takes a kick in and keeps on ticking but um these are incredible watches for the money i don't think you can go wrong and given the fact that like i said for 13 years this one has everything is always right on time has never failed me works like a champ um i never set the dates on these so i could set those but see how they're off i never actually care about the date window so i've never actually adjusted them or tried to set them right because uh, i never look at it that anyway i always know the date and I got that on my phone if I want to look at it. But I want the watch. 
I like having a watch on me for a quick look uh, to be able to time things for a minute. If I'm checking gallons per minute on a house and how much pressure they got, I don't want to pull out my phone and set a timer. I can just look at this and I got a second hand. I can go boom right there and then I can count it down for how many minutes it takes to fill a bucket. Just handy to have a watch on. And uh, I've always worn one, always liked it. These two, absolutely awesome. Um, quality throughout, Echo Drive is the only thing I buy now. I don't even bother. Like I said, I've been through the Tag Heuer, I've been through the Hamilton, I've been through all that crap. And, and again, for some people, they may like it, but for me, the most important thing in a watch is that it works every single second. It's always running. I never have it fail, and I never have to replace a battery, and I never have to set it in for anything, and I never have to nothing. I buy it, I put it on my wrist, it stays there for Forever until I decide I want a new one. That's all I'm asking for and it, it works every time. This watch does that and it does it for an incredibly affordable price and it is flawless. Combined with a Zulu band like this where you have that protection if you break a pin you won't lose it. That comfort on your skin and this water and these bands are 100% waterproof obviously very chemical resistant as I told you but this thing here if you wear this in a shower even with this band on, which I do with this one all the time. Um, see how I basically have it. it well, let's finish that. But uh, you put this on in the shower. By the time you get out, dry your body off and uh, brush your teeth and put deodorant, this will be dry. Okay, they dry that quick, so they don't hold water in them. So it's a perfect dive, um, waterproof. It's they're they're awesome bands and they're not expensive. Um, the reason I have I still wear both of these is this one I wear during all my pressure washing season. So basically for six months of the year from April through September, I wear this watch because I'm always pressure washing and it's always getting covered in chemicals and that sort of stuff. So this is my six month pressure washing work watch. And then this one, when, when that's over, this is my what I call my hunting watch. But for uh, from basically October all the way through May, uh, or through April, I wear this one. Uh, that's my hunting season stuff, and I'm not dealing with chemicals, but I am climbing trees. This one is scraped against trees, hanging stands all the time, covered in DEET, um, you know, all sorts of things like that, covered in blood a lot of the times when I'm working animals over, things of that nature. Um, but this watch is my six months of the year hunting season, my six months of the year pressure washing season. And the only reason it's like that is because I have two of them already. No sense in letting one sit there and do nothing. So that's how I actually use them. But realistically, one of these would last you about 15 years, I'm guessing. Like I said, I'm 13 years on that one. But you buy it one time for 100 or 150 bucks, whatever the price is, because its price does vary a little bit here and there. But you buy it and you use it for the next 15 years and never worry about anything. And then 15 years or whenever it dies after that, you just buy a different one. This watch has been out for 15 years and it's still available today. It's one of their best selling watches out there. Where this one, like I said, came out about uh, about six or seven years ago and it came out in a black like this. It came out in a brown, it was in this green and uh, then it was in a stainless steel model. Now they only have the stainless steel left. I don't think I can, I can't even find this one anymore. And that happens with so many different watches models. These, because they are such great sellers, such great quality, they have stood the test of time and they've been out for so many years, uh, they're not going anywhere. So highly, highly recommend. I will have a link down below for these. Um, I will also put a link to the stainless one of this down there for you. And I will have a link to those Zulu bands uh, on countycom.com for you as well too, so you can check those out. So there you go. Quick little review. Thanks for watching.